Excuse me, Station Master, but I need you again. Can't you see? I am very, very busy. Uh, no. Well, 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 I am. Very busy indeed. But, uh, okay, okay, I, I think I can give you a minute of my time. I'm looking for a kind of little juicy berry. You don't know where I could find some? Look, lady, the station doesn't have any Sauvignon berries, not even for Sauvignon. Funny you should mention it. That's exactly what I was looking for. Forest Sauvignon. Uh, Sauvignon, raspberries, red currants, they're all the same to me. And we don't grow none of them here. But you see, I have just read a very interesting book, which says that the rare Sauvignon berry is actually cultivated here, in the famous Baruchstadt University Avery itself. Well, if it's in a book, then... <laughs> don't believe everything you read, miss. I don't know why. But I don't think you're telling me the truth. What do you mean? I don't know. How should I know where to find your stupid grave? Go ask your professor, what's his name, Pons, the paleontologist. But you're the master of this station, so you should know better than anyone. Nobody tells me anything. I don't know. Go see the old guy with the fossils. I won't disturb you any longer, Mr. Station Master. Welcome to Barrochstadt, miss. Do excuse me, Professor. Professor, sorry to disturb you again. What is it you want to know, miss? You wouldn't know where the forest Sauvignon plants are kept in Bauerkstadt, would you? Uh, why do you think there are Sauvignon plants here? I read about it in a book at the library. Uh, try going to see the station master. If such a shrub exists, he will have a better idea than anyone. It's actually he who sent me to you. I thought it a little strange, but he definitely said ask the paleontologist. You're the only one here, aren't you? Yes, yes indeed. What a strange way to behave. Well, I, um, I think he must have made a mistake, that's all. Nobody tells me anything here. Maybe you should ask the rectors. After all, they are in charge of the university. All right, thanks. I'll leave you in peace. I hope I haven't disturbed you too much. Sorry? No, 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 not at all, my dear child. Gentlemen, forgive me for disturbing you again, but I have a little problem. A little problem, a little problem. Everyone has little problems now, you know. They are kept to oneself, and they don't stop the world from turning. Nor trains from leaving stations. Are you sure there are no Amazon Sauvignon plants in Barockstadt? Because I have just interviewed the station master and the paleontologist, and what they said really didn't convince me that there wasn't any here. We are quite definite on this point. There are no Sauvignon plants growing in Barockstadt. 
You see, miss, the Amazon forest sauvignon is a rare shrub that requires very special conditions for growth. That's right. Uh, conditions that are very hard to reproduce, believe you me. Difficult, but not impossible. Uh, fortunately, our garden has proved very successful. Your garden? So, there is a garden in Bergstadt? Oh, the garden. Well... If there was one, it would be only a little garden hidden behind the station. But our station master would be very proud of it. He would take very good care of it, too. Everything would grow marvelously if we were able to cultivate it at all, and it would be all down to his gardening prowess. And we would be proud as punch. And we wouldn't forget the role the paleontologist might play in this. What's the paleontologist got to do with it all? Without him and without his laboratory, how would we make the wine, do you think? And it would be good wine indeed, my dear colleagues, would it not? Oh, yes, a delightful balm to soothe away our long hours of toil and our heavy responsibilities. We would wait impatiently every year for the arrival of the year's produce. So, if I have understood you correctly, there are indeed Sauvignon plants in Barockstadt. They are cultivated in a garden behind the station, then turned into wine by the paleontologist's loving care. And finally, the pleasure of tasting is yours. If I'm not very much mistaken, gentlemen, you have a minor racket operating here. Miss, you do go jumping to some hasty conclusions. We never said that. That's not what we said at all. We, we were talking in the conditional. You know, with ifs and woulds. So, what would happen if I had such a hunch? Hmm, you would have to keep it to yourself, of course. Yes, if, if you would be so kind as to keep it a secret. <laughs> it would only be a small local concern, producing barely a few bottles every year. That's right, nothing so grandiose as a business. Otherwise, we'd be liable to be fined. So, we can't count on your discretion, can't we? Don't worry, I have no intention at all of getting messed up in anything. Here we are, busy chat-chatting, and look at the clock. It's tea time. Already? My word, doesn't time fly by? Thank you for a charming visit, miss. And thank you, gentlemen. Do excuse me, Professor. Professor, sorry to disturb you again. What is it you want to know, miss? I have just had a very interesting little discussion with the rectors. It seems that you are perfectly aware of the existence of Sauvignon plants here in Barrackstadt. Apparently, you find them very tasty. Not at all. I never drink wine. I prefer to make it. Production to me is much more satisfying. So you don't deny? Why, uh, seeing as the rectors have let you into our little secret, I even converted part of the laboratory into a fermenting room for Amazon Sauvignon wine production. <laughs> of course, I cannot produce wine in large quantities. We have to be discreet, uh, after all. And what about your students? Haven't they noticed anything? Oh, you know how students are. After all, a chemical reaction is still a chemical reaction, even when grapes are involved. And malolactic fermentation takes time. Sometimes strange odors begin to waft through the corridors. Then I just burn a little sulfur. Incredible. Totally incredible. You are really something, Professor Pons. Really something. Hmm. I'm not sure whether I should take that as a compliment. What would you say about seeing Hans Varlberg again? After all, you could 
come with me and help me find him? <laughs> Young lady, you are very kind. <laughs> I'm far... I have just had a very interesting little... Not at all. So you don't deny? Why, uh, see... And what about your students? Have... Oh, you know how students are. After all, a chemical reaction is still a chemical reaction, even when grapes are... Incredible. Hmm. I'll leave you in peace. I hope I haven't disturbed... Sorry? No, 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 not at all, my dear child. Excuse me, Station Master, but I need you again. Can't you see? I am very, very busy. Uh, no. Well, 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 I am. Very busy indeed. But, uh, okay, okay, I, I think I can give you a minute of my time. You have been playing with me, haven't you? You knew very well there were forest sauvignon berries in the station garden. No, not at all. I have never seen your sauvignon thing. You don't have to lie to me. I know all about it. You and the rectors are in cahoots, and the professor's lab has been turned into a distillery. You've all got a nice little smuggling racket on the side. Smuggling racket? Hey, hey lady, you're going a bit far there. It's just a little on-the-side thing we got going. That's all. It's just for ourselves. Hey, you honest. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Aren't you worried about the reputation of this fine university? The authorities should be informed of this. But we haven't done anything wrong. It's not a crime. Can you open the gate to the garden, please? Oh, sure, sure. No problemo. Right away, miss. <laughs> <laughs> 